I finally got my hands on the most popular and aggrievedly the most controversial adapter out there, the Cronus Zen. Think of this as the bigger, better, and more pricier sibling of the Strike Pack. Costing about 50% more, starting at $100 you get the base model which lets you run custom scripts for features like anti-recoil, aim assist, and rapid fire, and more. Plus, it allows you to use mouse and keyboard on console. But here's the big question. Is it worth the $100 price tag or should you spend your money somewhere else? That's exactly what we're going to be diving into in today's review of the Corona Zen. Whether you're buying this for the first time or just trying to set it up, there are a few things you need to know right off the bat. First, you need access to a computer or a laptop to download the Zen Studio program. This author is crucial. It is where you customize, update, and control all of your settings for your Zen. If you're planning to use this with PS5, though, you need to spend a bit more money to get the version that includes the PS5 adapter, or buy it separately for around 30 bucks. Let's kick things off with the setup process. After unboxing your Chrono Zen, the first thing you need to do is update it. Start by downloading the Zen Studio program on your computer. Once that's installed, plug in your adapter using the back USB port. The screen on the Zen will light up, and you need to flip it upside down and hold down the small blue button for about 3 seconds. The screen will display bootloader, which means you're ready to update it. On your computer, launch the firmware updating tool. If it doesn't pop up immediately, you can find it under tools in the top left of the Zen Studio. The program will tell you if there's an update available. Simply click update, select the latest firmware version, and hit begin update. This process will take a few minutes, so make sure you don't unplug your device during the update. Once it's done, the screen will confirm it. At that point, you can unplug it, the adapter from your computer and plug it into the USB port on the right hand side, and you're all good to go. With the firmware up to date, Let's talk about Zen Studio and what it does. On the top left, you'll find the library of GPC scripts. These scripts are created by the community, offering mods for just about anything, from anti-recoil to AFK scripts for games like Call of Duty Black Ops 6. There's also even a search bar to help you find exactly what you need. Once you've downloaded a script you like, it moves to the compiler section, where you can see the code fully written out. If you're tech savvy, you can tweak it to your liking, but for most people, the default scripts work just fine. Now, when it comes to programming your Zen, you can load up to 8 scripts at once. The preloaded scripts from Cronus are solid, but if you can't find a specific one, you can always download it from their website or another creator. You can also save scripts to your computer for easy access later, just create a folder on your desktop to keep them all organized. Drag the script into an empty slot, customize it if you need to, and hit Program Device, the button to save it to your Zen. The Device tab in Zen Studio lets you adjust settings like screen brightness and the reset the device. Next to the device, there's the keyboard and mouse configurations. I spent quite a bit of time tweaking the mouse and keyboard settings, and while you can get it to your liking, it's a lot of trial and error. Honestly, the best approach is downloading a pre-made configuration from Cronus's website. It's faster and usually works better than trying to dial everything in manually. Now let's move on to connecting your Zen to your console. For controllers, simply plug your controller into the left USB port on the device and the Zen into your console using the back USB port. For mouse and keyboard setups, connect them to the two front USB ports. Navigating through your scripts is easy. There's a button on the right hand side of the Zen that lets you switch between them. To adjust script settings on the fly, hold LT and start or menu start on your controller, then use the D-pad to navigate. Once everything is set up, I tested the mouse and keyboard functionality. To be honest, it was a bit of a headache. Every time I need to tweak anything, I had to go back to the computer and adjust it in the Zen Studio program. That process got old fast. While the preset configuration for Call of Duty worked pretty well and felt responsive, other ones like ones for Apex Legends needed a lot of fine tuning to feel right. It's a lot of trial and error, but on the flip side, the controller functionality is fantastic. 
running custom scripts for games is super convenient. It took me a bit to figure out the navigation since there are two buttons on the device, one for the Bluetooth connectivity and one for the menu, but once I got past that, it was smooth sailing. Features like anti-recoil, aim assist worked great once I dialed them in, and the ability to set presets for individual weapons in games like Apex Legends was a game changer. That said, Adding or changing scripts can be a bit of a hassle since you need to reconnect your Zen to your computer every time. It would be a huge improvement if Coronas developed an app to handle this process. Not everyone has a laptop or computer nearby and having to unplug your device and take it back to your PC every time can be a bit frustrating. Unfortunately, for now, we're stuck with this setup. One thing worth noting is the community around the Chrono Zen, there's a ton of support for custom scripts, but there's also a bit of controversy. Some creators charge for their scripts, and while I understand the hustle, there are rumors about scams where people resell slightly tweaked or off-brand scripts. I didn't dive too deep into this, but let me know in the comments if you have ever encountered anything like that. Lastly, I tested the feature that lets you use any controller on any console. I paired a PS5 controller with my Xbox and a Switch Joy-Con controller with my Xbox as well, and it worked perfectly fine. Everything was plug and play with all the buttons mapping correctly, which made for it in a seamless experience. Another thing I tested was using the Chronosyn on PC, and I have to say, it worked surprisingly well. Everything was essentially plug and play, and you could do just about anything you could do on the normal console. Whether you're running scripts with a controller or using keyboard and mouse for the Zen for features like aim assist, every feature worked exactly as intended. And my experience overall was pretty smooth. That said, my main concern lies with the risk of getting banned. PC platforms tried to have more of an advanced anti-cheat system compared to consoles, so using a device like this can be risky. There's even been cases of streamers getting caught using the Chrono Zen during a competitive game, while most users aren't aiming to cheat their way up to the Pro League, it's still something you should be aware of and take into consideration when you're planning to use this on PC. So what's my verdict on the Chrono Zen? Overall, it does exactly what it advertises. Everything is plug and play and all the features work as intended. It's compatible with any console, which is fantastic. However, where it really falls short is the mouse and keyboard functionality. If you've been following my channel, or if this is your first time, you know I primarily focus on mouse and keyboard adapters. I've tested a lot of competitors' products, and while the Chrono Zen's mouse and keyboard function does work decently, it's still missing a lot of the fine tuning. The biggest drawback is that it always needs a computer or a laptop nearby to customize settings or make any adjustments. This feels out of date, especially considering we're in 2025. The fact that Zen has been around for four to five years without introducing something as simple as a companion app is disappointing. What's stranger is that the strike pack made by the same company has an app, so it feels like they're missing a huge opportunity. That said, if you're not buying this device specifically for mouse and keyboard functions, then this isn't a deal breaker. Where the Chrono Zen truly shines is in its scripting and custom mods. The ability to use any controller on any console is incredible. You don't need to go out and buy a separate controller preloaded with mods like Rapid Fire. This device handles it all. It works beautifully well. And the company's provided scripts, along with custom ones from the community, perform very well. I was generally impressed with the aspect of this adapter. Another standout feature is the compatibility with PC. You get the same functions, the same mods, and the same seamless experience on PC as you do on console. This kind of cross-platform functionality is rare and makes the Chronosyn a one-of-a-kind device. However, the biggest frustration is the process of updating or changing configurations every time you need to tweak settings or swap scripts. You have to reconnect the device to your computer. If you're lucky enough, you have a laptop nearby and it makes it a bit more convenient, but the lack of an app-based system is still a major inconvenience. So circling back to the big question, is the Chronosyn worth the $100 price tag? Honestly, I'm gonna have to say yes. 
but not without its problems. If you're looking for something specifically for mouse and keyboard, I would rather you go buy something like the Matrix or the Striker Pro. But if your main focus is controller modability, this is the device to get. There's really nothing else on the market that comes close to terms of versatility in script functionality, especially since competitors like the Titan 1 and Titan 2 are out of date and no longer supported. In the end, the Chronozin isn't perfect, but what it offers, controller mods, cross console compatibility, and script versatility is hard to beat. Just know the limits before jumping in. With that being said, I'm going to end the video here. You guys have a wonderful day. And if you like this type of content, feel free to go for my channel. And outside of that, have a good one.